folks, this is Johnny, and I'm here with another video, and uh, we're going to actually look at shared copies. Now, these are really, really handy if you're doing a lot of work with loops and samples, and if you pretty much, if you set up a particular event or a part of your song with specific edits, and you want to copy those, you can link those copies together. What this does is in automation, uh, for automation, uh, if you're doing uh, clip gain or um, uh, gain envelopes, like I showed in the last video, uh, this will give you the ability to adjust only one and it adjusts them all. And then the question's going to come up, well, what if I don't want that to happen? I'll show you how that works. If you guys could, I'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to this video. And uh, please enable notifications, too, um, if you want to know when I do these things. And you could also help support the channel by becoming a member by clicking the Join button at the bottom of the video. Or if you look in, in the description, there's a link to my Patreon page, which is where pretty much everybody gathers as well. So take that into consideration. And as always, I appreciate the support. All right, so here we are in the last song that I actually showed you guys. And you can see where we made all of these adjustments using the gain envelopes. So what we're going to do really quick is just kind of review. Remember, you can turn the gain envelopes on and off just by clicking that little button right there. And you can see everything disappears. So now here's our verse. So now what I want is after this part, I'm actually going to turn off the loop zone. If I actually want this part here, this is the verse. If I want this to happen again over here, but if I want to make adjustments to this and have it affect all of my verses, here's what I do. So I'm going to just grab it. I'm going to move it to the end, but before I let go of the mouse, I'm going to hit control. And what that's going to do, boom, is it's going to make a shared copy. So what does that mean? Now, the shared copy does not share the actual default envelopes for volume. But what it does do is it gives you the ability to take one and adjust them both. So if I want all of my events to change, if I want all of my verses to change in volume in the exact same place through every part of my song, I can do it this way. Now, there is a cooler option. Let me see if actually this works here. So if I do that, no, that's not going to do it. I just want to try a couple things here. Okay. So now, if I don't want that to happen, what do I do? Help. They're, they're endlessly connected. Uh, some people would actually go ahead and bounce this and then add a new gain envelope and make changes, but you don't have to do that. All you have to do is right-click on the event, and you're going to be looking for separate shared copies. So now if I go to the event menu, you can see that separate shared copies is dun, 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 right there at the bottom. Or you can use the shortcut Alt-C. I'm not a really big keyboard shortcut person. I'm a mouser. That's why I like the macro toolbar. That's going to be for another video. <laughs> Mousing versus keyboard shortcuts. Which is better? I'm going to... Yeah, of course, that would be all opinion-based. But anyway, so now, if I click on separate shared copies, now, if I adjust one, it doesn't affect the other. Now I have independent control over this particular event if I don't want this to happen. Now, now the question comes up, and I should have thought about this. I should have thought about this when I was actually rehearsing. Um, so let me see here. If I use... No, hold on a second. I'm going to try to do something here. See, that's... Okay, so let me actually... Click on this. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click on this one. I wonder if I can reconnect them. I don't think I can. Separate. Let's see. Let's go to event. Let's see. Separate shared copies. Or does is there a link? Toggle crop. All right. Well, this would be a great question for you guys. If you guys know if we can relink these, I should know this, but I don't. Um, so if you guys know of a way to relink these, please leave them, in, uh, please leave the, uh, <laughs> please leave the method in the comment section at the bottom of this video. I'd really appreciate it. I don't think there is a way 
to link them, but now they are separate. And you can see here, let me see if I can get this to work here. All right, so if you look down here, you can see one and two. Now, if I undo that, there you go, the number goes away. So if there's no number in two identical events, they are shared. That is one way to undo it. But, of course, if you've done a bunch of edits afterwards, you'd have to undo all of those other edits just to get back to this. But right-click, click on Separate Shared Copies, and now a number ends up in the corner, and now they can be adjusted separately. Look at that. All right, very cool. So I hope you guys got something from this. I think these are all very cool mixing techniques that you can use to really get your song um, in a in a flow, especially when it comes to dynamics, using the uh, event gain or uh, using the gain envelopes along with the shared copies option. It's pretty tight. It really, really is. All right, so let's see here. Uh, there's going to be more videos coming this week. I'm going to try to do several a day now to see if I can really get some content out for you guys. There's so many new people using Studio One. If you go to the Facebook uh, Persona Studio One group, it is amazing. There is... There's like over 40,000 members over there. I don't know the exact number, but I am the admin of, the, of that group and along with Johnny Lipsham and a bunch of other awesome moderators. Um, so please go check that out. But over there, excuse me, but over there, there is a ton of new users. So uh, since you got guys like Lucas and Joe Gilder and all of those guys doing uh, some pretty awesome videos, I'm going to stick with the beginners and I'm going to really start uh, putting some stuff out there for the beginners for Studio One Six because all of my other beginner videos for other versions, some of that stuff has changed. So I'm hoping you guys find this helpful. All right, that's going to be it for me. I'll see you all in the next video.